everybody, it's Andrea Mercier, aka Enlom, and welcome to my studio. Today we are doing a project for this month's CAC Virtual Art Crawl, and the hashtag is CAC Flower Art. The intro part of the video was part of a different video, so it starts abruptly, my apologies. And so we're just going to jump right in. Catch you on the other side. Side note, I have paint left on my palette and I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm actually going to just do that on this bigger 11 by 14 and it will be a background for another project. I hate wasting paint. There, I really like that. That has a huge amount of texture. I used up the, the leftover paint and then some. But this is just super bow. I love it. Not sure what's ever going to go on this, but it's going to be soon because I really like the way that turned out. Cool. All right. Okay, this is dry. It was like this, but I'm going to be doing a, a flower, so I wanted it to be this way so I could get the flowers up here. So my highlight will be coming up from the right, which is very unusual for me. Usually I have my highlights coming the other way. So this might be challenging. So I'm going to create a little table like I did with the pair on a table video, which is right here. And then I'm going to make a little vase, something very simple, and then I'm going to do a bunch of flowers. I think I'm going to make some kind of hydrangea-y type of flowers. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to be doing the table and that down here, so I will zoom in down here for you and we'll get started. All of the colors and the tools that I'm using are down in the diddly do. the vase to be very big because I want the focus to be the flowers and I'm going with green because my background is red they're complementary colors it goes well with the brown um, I'm just trying to think of a shape I'm just gonna use some water here just some plain water I'm just gonna draw with some water so I can kind of Okay, I don't want anything round. Oops. No, I don't want anything round. Let's try that. Let's try something else. These are going to be very puffy. Maybe something square. Yeah, I'm going to go with something square. I didn't like the round. Like that. It's a 
better shape. It's slightly rounded bottom. The square didn't look right. Just going to uh, highlight and low light it, and then we'll get into the actual flower part. mildly rounded vase. I'm not too concerned about the top here because obviously the flowers are going to cover it. Struggling a little bit over here with my darks. Alright, I'm going to let that dry so that when we're sponging that doesn't pull up. So we'll be back. So I'm going to do the darker side in the Serenity and the lighter side in the um, Rose Quartz. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this out. I'd like to darken it a tad with the purple. I have my trusty sea sponge. Okay, this is the scary part. <clears throat> Actually, what I'll do is I will we'll only be doing it here. You can get a good view of what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just so you know. All right. I always kind of dab off on my arm a bit so I don't have too much paint going down. a little bit more. We will define this a little bit. This needs to be darker. This needs to be darker. <coughs> okay. Still not dark enough. Alright, that's dark. What we're gonna it's a little bit transparent, but that's okay. This will just give us some shadows in the background and we will put the lighter colors over it and that will help because that was definitely not dark enough and because I'm going to be putting all of these light colors over it. So let's just get the dark down. I'm just going to kind of go all the way over here. Because this is a Liquitex heavy body, it's got some, it has texture. Okay, this is mostly dried, so I'm going to go with the next um, lightest color, which is the Blue Serenity that I mixed up with the purple. Oh, I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of this and put it here. Hmm. Okay, I have to I have to go back to my dark. I didn't have enough in the background to cover up the red. Oh, I need to 
shadow. Like that. So I didn't actually get to use my rose quartz. It wouldn't have gone well with that. I really like the way that turned out. Lots of texture. All right. some form of hydrangea. I like it. I wasn't expecting it to be one kind of clump. I thought I was going to have different clumps, but it just didn't work out that way. So, let me see here. I've got a sign. Got a sign. What are we going to name this one? Purple Posies in a Pot. That's what that's going to be named. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here. Everything I used is down in the dibbly do, And of course, I welcome questions and comments. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me on my artful journey. I really appreciate it. I'll see you later. Bye.